Let's download a photo from Google Images and use Autodesk Fusion 360 to import that canvas and design an AR-15 pistol grip slingshot. G'day, my name's Aaron and you're watching the Design, Creativity and Technology channel. Okay, the first thing we need to do here today is actually go onto Google and type in AR-15 pistol grip and let's see what it returns. Let's look through Google search and pick one that you like. Uh, something like this looks very nice from Tyrant and Designs, but I've actually uh, found one earlier. And once you find your design, you just simply right click and copy image and save it to the desktop. So my image is here on my desktop and there it is there. And like I said, it's from Tyrant Designs and uh, we're not selling these guys, we're just copying it uh, for the sake of the video, okay? Alrighty, so let's get started. So we'll open Fusion 360. And the first thing we need to do, we're going to do this in a top-down design. So we're going to save our file. And I'm going to call this AR15 Slingshot Vid Video. Click Save. All right. Um, we're going to come up to Assembly. We're going to click New Component. And we're going to come straight away in here. And we're going to type in AR15 Pistol Grip. Uh, we're going to deselect it here and pick it at the parent top parent level. We'll get into the habit of doing that and click OK. Uh, click on the sketch plane we're going to use here today. R for rectangle and this is going to be our rectangle where we're going to get most of our sizes from when we import the canvas. So the height's going to be 120, tab and the bottom is going to be 60, tab enter. All right. I'm going to click insert, attach a canvas. Uh, where does it, Fusion's asked you, where do you want to place it? Well, I want to place it there. Bring in my canvas, it's going to be this one. Click open, it's going to try and size it to match that original size. I'm going to change my little bit. I'm going to flip it that way. I'm also going to make it <clears throat> 1.75 big. So I'm going to scale it up a little bit and I'm going to rotate it about 32 degrees to the left hand side. And I'm going to manually move it here within those Cartesian coordinates. And that's gonna help me when I start to CNC mill and click OK. Okay, what we need to do now, guys, I can now start drawing around the outside perimeter of this shape and also the inside perimeter, and then I'll extrude that shape, okay? So the first thing we can do here, alpha line, is zoom in, and I suggest you turn off snap to grid. And that's a little trick Kevin, my good friend Kevin Ellingson showed me, who's a CAD CAM trainer over in the United States. And we're going to drag up over here. And I'm going to probably stop mine about that. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. As you tend to get older, guys, you need glasses. And uh, I don't see that well these days. But anyway, we'll get there. It's all a part of growing older, unfortunately. We're going to come around to there. And you see here it doesn't want to go around that corner. So I'm going to stop it. I'm going to pick my um, line tool now. Just put a straight line up to there. Okay. Actually, I might undo that and do that again. Actually, alpha line, straight line too. I'm going to come right up to there and then stop it, pick up my spline. And you can see my spline tools up here at the moment. And how I did that, I clicked down here and went to spline and put it there. When I clicked that, I said pin it to the toolbar. And that saved me going, uh, just a little shortcut, saves me keep going into that into that file, into that drop down, which is really annoying over time. You get sick of it. Okay, straight line tool, and here we go. Remember, guys, don't pick, don't try and draw on the green. It won't snap. Snap on the white points. There we have it. Okay, then I'm going to use the spline to come up and around here, and it should flow fairly well. So zoom in a little bit. Two, three. Four, and around the corner, I'm going to stop it there. Now, you can see here that it wouldn't stop on me, so I'm just going to back that off again. Sorry, guys. Do that again. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five, and come over to my checkpoint and check it. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to drag that down a little bit and keep going around the corner here. Now, you can see here I just got that a little bit out, so I can come in now and manipulate these points just ever so subtly and get that flowing a little bit neater around there. Okay, back into our spline tool again. 
trying to do roughly equal amounts and this looks like a bit of a straight line run now from up from here stop it spline till again So in theory, guys, we just uh, reflect back on your early childhood years, and really what we're doing, guys, is just doing tracing, okay? But we're using computer, or, you know, using the CAD to actually do our geometric construction. Okay, I'm going to stop mine there. I'm just going to trim off T for trim, that little bit here. Now, I'm not going to worry about the original rectangle I drew. I'm going to leave it there for now. Um, the only thing I need to get is down this bottom corner. So I'm going to come back in here and use my spline tool for that. And what I might do... Yeah, I'll just click it up from here, guys. So bang. Bang and stop it. Let's have a look at that. This one here can move around a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to work on these inside guys. So I, this is pretty simple now. I'm going to drop this inside pattern. Okay, and uh, you can watch how I do it. I'll be a little bit quiet here. And I may be even just fast forward this a little bit in the video. Okay. Okay guys, what we want to do here, I want to put a, a little bit of a slot in and the slot is going to be um, where the frame is going to attach and we need to put some a couple of dimensions in here, so D for dimension and we want to put a dimension in here and it's going to be 6mm, so just under a quarter of an inch and we know that they're both right angles to that and D for dimension and the top of this from here to here needs to be about 20. All right, that moved just a little bit because it's un unfortunately. Okay, so let's see if that will extrude now. So E for extrude. We want to extrude that piece there. Okay, and let's save our design, guys, and there we have it. So there's our AR-15 pistol grip. Let's start doing the top bit now. Now, what I suggest you do is uh, get on Google again and look up slingshot designs. Uh, unless you want to, you know, invent one for yourself, and there's there's plenty on there for Google Images, and you can see here different designs, different shapes. Um, I went with something, where was it? Something like that, that one there. And you can see the one that I've picked here down below. Uh, it's this one here, the Dragon Hawk Slingshot. And uh, the good thing about it, it actually gave me some dimensions to work with as well. Okay, so back into Fusion we go, guys. And what we want to do here now is to start, because we're doing this in a top-down design structure, you can see it here. Uh, we want to start from here, assembly, new component, deselect that. We're going to call this frame. 
uh, select the parent level, click OK, and there it is there. We can now start drawing on that. So a new sketch, because what I want to do, I want to pick roughly that one there. And what I'm going to do here, guys, I'm going to draw a rectangle, half a rectangle. And I'm going to snap it to the middle here and just draw out. And this is going to be 45 tab by 75, I believe. Tab enter. Okay, what I want to do now, guys, is mirror that. So sketch mirror. Pick up these three lines. We're going to mirror it around that center line. Click OK. And I'm going to convert that center line here into a construction line. So now it ignores it. And here we go. Insert a canvas. Attach canvas. We're going to pick that face. We're going to pick up our canvas. That design. Click open. We're going to rotate it. 90 degrees and I'm going to have to scale it I think let's just have a look at this guy so three point two five and roughly that's a good scale we want it's probably in the right sort of spot where we want to where we want to start from I think and I'm going to click OK there now okay here we go we're going to once again I'm just going to draw half of this and then I'm going to mirror it, guys. I'm going to, not going to draw the whole thing. Okay, so here we go. So I'm going to start with a straight line tool. Okay, alpha line. It's going to be extrusion of six. Click OK, and we should have that frame there. I'm going to turn this back on now at a top, at a parent level, and we want to just turn off our canvases on there. So that's off. Sorry. Come back. Drop down here. Canvas off there. There we go, and click save. All right, and we can have a look at that now, guys. Here's our slingshot. Now, you can play around with your size. To me, um, I didn't like that. Mine, it looked a little bit too small. So what I did with mine, I went back and edited it again, and I made it a little bit bigger to make it look like this one here. Now, you'll also have to put a hole in the front, guys, with that hole. Um, so you wanna click that top face, draw a, um, put in a hole feature, this one here edit feature and you can see the one that I've used here and extruded that through okay and then I put a thread in there as well guys if I turn off my wireframe you can see in here and there's my thread and what I'll do I'll just later on I can uh, insert a McMaster car component and we can pick up a cap head bolt and uh, insert that in, so screws and bolts later, and insert that into the design as well. Alrighty, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you come back next week, and we're going to CNC machine this on the milling machine. And uh, yeah, it's, I'm pretty excited about this. I think it should be a good little slingshot design. Thanks again, guys. Catch you later. Bye bye.